Hey guys, it's Samantha and I'm here at my own salon in Southern California, New Hall area to be exact, called Veil of Grace. And I actually just wanted to give you a little insight um, with my color cabinet and how I organize it and the color I use. So here we go. Dun, dun, dun. It's like the hairstylist holy grail, right? When we get to see our colors. It's like our favorite thing and I have to use a step stool because I'm short and my cabinet is so tall and high up but I organize all my color um, basically how I use it so the colors that my permanent colors that I don't use that often are in tubes and I try to keep them as organized as possible from darkest obviously level three to fours to five to sixes sevens eight nine to the mixes and on my top shelf I keep all my mixing bowls and then I keep my bottles and I usually like to keep the tops off so if I put the bottles away wet they at least get a chance to dry out and then I had um, a mini shelf installed here so I could separate my cans because the hardest part when you have cans for color and I use the Goldwell color line um, the cans when you have such a big area these cans as soon as the color starts to um, get used all up they begin to be top heavy so the lighter and more emptier the cans are they actually will start falling out if you have too many of them stacked so there's been plenty of times I open up the cabinet and then the cans just fall out, which has been a nightmare. So it's better when you use cans to have a smaller condensed section. So I figured I come to realize a row of two is good and I, they don't really fall out. But here my cans are my most used colors. My NNs, my MBs, my A's are here are my all my cans. So you see these are the full cans here. I usually like to keep them stacked here and then below um, is all my developers my bleach and then my tubes for my semi-permanent color so I actually even had this little pulley shelf I don't even know what you call this thing <laughs> Ooh, because I break it installed um, and I just keep my shades clear and my um, processing solution my gel in there uh, as you can see under here I keep my bleach so I use my blonde over Wella bleach and then I keep my developers uh, my smaller bottles are here but I actually use for my 20 volume I carry a gallon in my 20 volume because I use it so much and I just refill it here. but I have my semi-permanent developer and then normal color tubes to get things cleaned out Whoop. and then I have my um, well of bleach the 89 plus for my darker hair clients if you guys don't use it you should it's awesome I mix it with my other blonde door for a stronger lifting power but I got this cute little organizer from the container store and I keep all my clean brushes in here of course since we have other stylists in the salon I'm a freak and I label all of my brushes. This girl, you know, you always have a missing brush and you wonder who stole your damn brush. So I have everything labeled for that case. And I keep them all in here. And then I used to have baskets for all my shades, but my basket was starting to fall apart. So I was looking everywhere to try to find a small container to fit and separate my shades so it, I could easily find what I need. And I found these at the container store online, which took like forever to get to me, but it's well worth the wait. So here I have, you can see it's really long and narrow and thin, and I can fit a quite an amount of tubes in it, but it's nice. I labeled each one, the ones I use the most. So I have nine, eights and then I have my sevens and then my sixes in the back so it's perfect and it's great because they can stack on top of each other so it's pretty good I just wish they were if they were just a little bit longer 
I could have fit another tube laying down, but it's just a smidge too short. You can never find the perfect measured box to put all my stuff, but make do of what we what we can. So I usually have to lay some and then whoop. What is that? Don't worry. Thank goodness it's magnetic. Oh, I got it. Okay. So I, that's how I keep my semi-permanent. And then over here to the right, whoop, sorry, lower myself down. Um, I usually keep all my inventory check. So I have my assistant, like every two weeks, we go through, we do a full inventory list of every single shade that I have, anything that's low or less, and a bottle that can be combined with another bottle of the same color, then we could do that. So we can kind of minimize the clutter and all the bottles in the canisters. You know how you hate when you pull out a bottle and then there's like barely even a quarter ounce left in it. And you're like, why is this even in here? So I always try to condense all my inventory as much as possible. So I always keep a papered note of all my inventory. And then anything that I use, when it's the bottle or the tube or the can, I split up my permanent color on one side versus semi on the other. And once it's used, I write it down. So that way, when my assistant, then we go, you know, and it's, it's time for us to do inventory, we can go through my note and I can look, okay, you know, last week we, we saw that you wrote, I have one and a half bottles of 9G available. So if I look here and I see I have you know, one bottle of 9G that's written down, then that means I only have half a bottle left. So I can kind of assess my schedule ahead of time and see what I'm gonna be mixing up for colors and plan accordingly, which is great. So I usually keep that there. And then over here on this side, I usually like to keep just a general cheat sheet. I'll come up for you. Can you see me? Okay. So I keep a general cheat sheet so you know, every once in a while you get a brain fart and you just need to refresh your memory. But also I have a, an assistant and it's always nice to kind of run through how I'm mixing, what I mix, why I'm mixing what I mix. And then also I get her to start formulating as well. So it's always good to have something for reference to explain, okay, well, we're mixing up this because of this, her level, how many levels of lift. So she can visually see what's going on and what's the better color corrective. And this chart, you guys, is so old. I've probably have removed this from like the past like 10 years of cabinets that I've transferred all my colors to. So I think it's time for me to print out another Goldwell like formulating chart because this looks like a hot mess. But then I also keep a little minimal um, mini size of my semi-permanent chart and I think that's it. So I'm kind of a clean freak, so as you can tell, I try to keep everything as organized as possible. I like everything in its same spot, but this is it. So I hope you enjoyed a tour of my color cabinet. If you have any questions, comment below, and I'll list all the details of where I bought my storage, um, the products that I use, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon at a Wealthy Hairstylist YouTube channel. Thanks so much.